reaching you well. So in the second part of the tutorial, I'm actually going to walk you through how to be able to buy uh, Matic on the swap um, function within the Walt ecosystem, and then how to be able to transfer that um, via the Binance bridge over to Ethereum network, and then from the Ethereum network over to the Matic network. So I'm going to walk you through the whole process. So first and foremost, go to Walt Finance, launch the app, then make sure you go to the swap section. Make sure you've also connected your wallet, right? So it has to be connected. And then what you then want to do is then select a Matic within this function here, and then select whatever you have available within asset, right? BNB, BUSD, whatever you have, USDT. And then you want to then transfer that over to Matic. If you're doing it for the first time, you need to basically approve first and then swap. There's a minimum that you require, which is about 234 Matic to be able to use the Binance bridge to transfer over to Ethereum network. So once you've done that and you've approved and you transferred it over, then you will then need to go to PancakeSwap to the bridge. So then go at the bottom here, it says convert this bridge. You click on this link, then it'll take you to the Binance bridge. Then this Binance bridge, um, via this Binance bridge, then what you can essentially do here is you then select the asset, so Matic, to search for Matic, and then make sure what you're moving over is from Binance Smart Chain Network over to Ethereum, right? Because you have you you basically bought Matic via Walt ecosystem, right? And then, with, then you need to then move that over to Ethereum. And then what you also need to do is once you've done that, you then basically need to make sure that you put in the address, okay? So there's an amount that you need to put in, the amount is 234, and then you're gonna send it to the address. Make sure your, the address that you're sending it to is the Ethereum address that you have on your MetaMask, okay? Very, very important. So once you've done that, you've made the transfer, it'll probably take about five to 10 minutes. Once that's done, you would then need, first and foremost, check your ETH wallet that it has been transferred over, right? And it's there. Then what you then need to do is you would then need to go to your MetaMask and basically create um, custom RPC. So custom RPC, and then you need to add Matic mainnet. Once you've added that, and this is the credentials you require, I'll add this description in, uh, this information in the description. You can be able to add the network here. Once you've done that, you've now added the Matic mainnet network. Then what you then need to do is you would have to go to set up Matic web wallet. So this is the link. I'll provide this in the description as well. Then you basically just connect to MetaMask. And then it will then mean that you've now connected also with the same address, if you use the same address, to the Matic web wallet. And I've basically done that already. So once I've done that, it basically shows what I've had. So this is a transfer that I made before, right? In the first tutorial that I did. And then what you basically would have to do, you've confirmed the custom RPC, you set up um, the wallet V2 Polygon. And then what you then need to do is move funds to Matic mainnet. So you click on this link, and then you then need to search for Matic. Okay, so let's go for Matic. Click on Matic. So I transferred over 223 Matic before, as I, as I mentioned, and then I want to click on Max, right? So click on Max, and then once you do that, all you're going to do is click on Transfer. So if you click on Transfer, You'll say what's supported, click on continue, then it shows approved deposit, how much, uh, what are the fees. Then if you're happy, then you'll click on continue, then it shows Ethereum network, which I transferred from BIP20, right, from Binance over to Ethereum. So this is what I have, and now I'm going to move it over to the Matic network, and this is the mode, transfer mode using the Plasma bridge. Then if I'm happy with the transaction fee of $1.12, then we'll mm -hmm. click on continue. And then I need to confirm this amount. So there's a transaction fee here, which is actually shows $2.10. So I'm happy I click on confirm. Then it shows transactions in process. So probably it will take 
probably about five minutes or so, 10 minutes, just depends. And then you just have to wait and be patient. Then you just go back to your wallet. Once it's cleared, you'll get a notification. Then you'll be able to then check in your wallet that it's there. Then after that, when you then want to basically then buy, say, Wex Polly's listing on the 14th, right, of June, say you want to then buy, you'll then basically need to then do a swap, right? So you can go to the few DEXs that currently exist right now um, that you can be able to do a swap. Um, but hopefully, basically, by that time, you should be able to do a swap via Walt. So it's already been confirmed. Very good, very good, very good. So you can be able to then use Walt DEX, hopefully by then, to be able to then swap um, that amount. Uh, but there are obviously other DEXs there available. So um, basically, that, that's the whole situation. That is the flow of, of information. If you have any questions, please let me know. I'm actually just going to wait to see that this has occurred. Maybe if I just refresh. Okay, so it's probably going to just take a while for it to confirm. But basically, that transfer shows that it's gone through. Just waiting for everything to confirm. So anyway, that's the whole process. If you have any questions, please let me know. Thank you.